film continues to be one of the most inspiring, enlightening, and even enraging mediums known to man. The idea that film can connect with humanity is clearer than ever before. What I want to explore today is how certain films change people's opinions and perceptions and make them take concrete action for the better of society. From silent films to documentaries, here is a list of films that have changed the world. CNN's 2013 BAFTA-nominated documentary chronicles an orca whom was involved in the deaths of three people. SeaWorld refused to be a part of the documentary and blasted the film for being inaccurate and for exploiting a tragedy. Other individuals that were related to or affiliated with the film stated later that the film went in an 180 degree direction than what they were initially told it was regarding. Nonetheless, the film has made a large impact on the tourism industry and has contributed to SeaWorld closing their orca breeding program and to end their killer whale shows. JFK, the 1991 conspiracy thriller directed by Oliver Stone, is revered for its technical achievements in editing, music, and cinematography, but mainly remembered for its recreation of the 1963 Daily Plaza events surrounding John F. Kennedy's assassination and its taut opposition against the Warren Commission. After the film's release in 1992, the Assassination Records Review Board passed the JFK Act after the popularized notion that federal government agencies such as the CIA and the FBI were conspirators surrounding Kennedy's death. Stone made it clear in the film that Americans cannot trust official public conclusions when those conclusions hadn't been made in secret. By law, all existing assassination-related documents will be made public in 2017. While this timely comedy was being shot, 17 states still had laws against interracial marriage. Katherine Hepburn brings home her fiancé, played by Sidney Portier, whilst in the middle of the 1960s civil rights movement. Six months before the film was released, the Supreme Court struck down anti-miscegenation laws, which uplifted the box office success of the film. Being described as the love story of today, critics swooned over the film, mainly for its examination of the subject matter with humor, feeling, and depth. D.W. Griffith, considered by many to be one of the most influential directors because of the vast technical breakthroughs he implemented in his films, and for being a pioneer for some of the editing and shooting techniques he utilized. He first released his silent film The Birth of a Nation in 1915. The narrative focuses on the events of the Civil War, the assassination of Abraham Lincoln, and the formation of the Ku Klux Klan. The film is extremely controversial in regards to its historical inaccuracies and bigoted viewpoints. The film can now be found in the public domain. This 1988 documentary, directed by famed documentarian Errol Morris, depicts the true story of Randall Dale Adams, who was convicted and sentenced to death, only to be released from prison a year later. Randall Adams was offered a ride by 16-year-old David Ray Harris, whom had just stolen a car. When police pulled him over for having a broken headlight, a cop was shot and killed by someone in the car. The film contained reenactment scenes built from witnesses' statements. As a result of publicity around the film, particularly the illustration of how eyewitness testimonies of the crime were unreliable, the sentence for Adams was overturned and resulted in a retrial where the district attorney's office declined to prosecute the case again, resulting in his ordered release in 1989. It is considered by many critics to be the greatest documentary ever made.